So pigs, just like humans, preferentially take caloric abundance and store it in their fat. We do the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. And so that, that subcutaneous fat acts as a real barrier to protect the meat in the curing process. Pigs are also unique in that you can what's called scald and scrape them. So you can heat the, heat the skin, you know, post-mortem. You know, you've, you've taken this animal's life. It's time to eviscerate it. Well, before you take the uh, carcass and cut it open, you can scald with hot water and you scrape the hair off. Well, that skin... I, one of the slides, you remember the slide with the ham? Yes, I was yeah, going to ask so, about that next. Yeah, so I, 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 had a bunch of, I had a bunch of excess pork. This is probably 2000, this would have been 2017, 18. And I had a bunch of extra pork, and it was time to go to the slaughterhouse, you know. And so rather than turning a lot of that into sausage to sell, I, <clears throat> I reserved, God, I think it was eight hams and so i took it took the pigs to a place that scalds and scraped the skins on and i took those hams and went and had them cured and smoked and fast forward four years later yeah this was 2007 2018 so january 1st 2022 we had a new year's party and i break one of the, this is a four-year-old piece of meat and we can't we can't conceptualize the idea or the significance of being able to kill and cure a piece of meat now and keep it good, you know, without refrigeration for years. And, man, we cracked that thing open. I, I featured this, Brett. I know you weren't there. Featured this slide of this prosciutto ham. Mm. And uh, But, but again, these are, these are things that are unique to the pig. And, and the point I wanted to get across, you know, there's a lot of this poofa argument today about, and look, not all pigs and not all lard are created equal. But that's not the point. The point is you can raise a very healthy, very happy, one bad day, extremely nutritionally dense uh, pig, and then you can you can preserve that. And of course, obviously, repurpose the fat for cooking or or for skincare or for. There was this, you remember the slide with the, all the textile uses? Yes, dude. I Only mean, thing you can't use on the pig is the squeal. A great slide. Crazy. We we harvest over twenty hormones out of pigs to this day. They this is the other thing. Like they're they're a modern day hero in terms of human health. We harvest over twenty hormones from pigs, and we use them directly in human bodies. Really? Oh yeah. One of the slides. So the Making medical slide. Pharmaceutical. I had, oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Every epipen in this country. I, I don't think they're synthesizing epinephrine probably are but but we harvest epinephrine from pigs and use it in humans the the line in the talk was i don't know what's more life-saving an epipen or bacon but they both come from the pig so it's close it's close <laughs> it's close but anyway yeah it was a great talk and we got a lot of great feedback i haven't looked at the results we did a little survey at the end because the, the goal is to try and sort of hammer down that talk to to a more of a ted talk domain which i think is like 10 12 15 minutes something like that because i i i think the modern consumer needs to understand how valuable these animals are and 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 they need to be raised in a way that's aligned with nature that's not externalizing you know terrible costs to our environment you know manure lagoons and things of that nature and we're a long way from it you know 98 percent of the pork grown in this country is 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 in the industrial model but, you know, one, if we can get that 98 to 95, you know, 5% seems to be a, a critical benchmark. And it's, it's just going to take consumers demanding higher quality and asking their store to carry products. And, and hopefully over time, more people uh, are willing to live a lifestyle that aligns with, with agriculture. You know, it, 